All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to talk real quick about this total nonstop summer schedule that they put out. Uh, just going to touch on it for a couple minutes here and then uh, get into kind of an announcement for um, some future content here. So uh, the total nonstop summer, they usually, you know, th this is more dates than they usually put out at once. But we've got June 14 and 15 in Chicago, Cicero Stadium. Everyone knows about that. That's in a couple days. And then uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. June 28th and 29th, which is everyone's favorite, the 2300 arena. Uh, Tommy Dreamer says this is the best arena in sports, not Barclay Center, not Madison Square Garden, not the Boston Garden. Um, July 20 and 21st, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. That's obviously lined up with Slammiversary. And then they, um, they gave us some new dates here of August 2nd and 3rd in Tampa, August 30 and 31st in Louisville, Kentucky, and then September 13 and 14 in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't recall if they've ever been, ever been to Tampa before. I think NWA did their last set of tapings in Tampa, and it was okay. But they have done very well in Tampa So uh, in the past. So if you promote properly in that area, you can get a pretty good crowd. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, I don't remember how, how well they did there. And Cleveland, I think, is a new spot for them. I know they've done Ohio, uh, especially the Cincinnati area. But uh, I don't remember where they've been previously in Ohio but I feel like Cleveland is something different. Me personally, I'm going to try to get out to one or both of Louisville and Cleveland. Um, I, you know, I often say I'm not like a wrestling mark, but I am a mark for travel. I do enjoy traveling and going to watch wrestling live in a, in a new city. Uh, so I, I have interest in going to those. Um, I have a lot going on until that point. I've got my, my honeymoon at the end of July and then my daughter's birthday at the end of this month. Going to be going to California for a little bit, so it kind of coincides with some of these other things going on. But that uh, that Louisville and Cleveland, like I have a lot of interest in going to those. Uh, okay, as far as some content I got here coming very very soon that you guys are going to have a lot of interest in, I have spent. Excuse me, I just not dropped my phone on the floor. Sorry if that made a big noise. I don't want to start the recording over. So um, I've spent the last couple of days asking a lot of questions to TNA, and. Um, I've spent many hours talking to them, more hours than I spent on professional wrestling in a given week. Trust me. I've done my best to ask a lot of the questions that I know you guys have interest in. I ask a lot of questions that I have interest in. And if you're my my viewers, you you probably are in tune with a lot of a lot of my opinions. So, you know, it all makes sense. Some of those questions I've been asking, but um, I'm doing the Mike and JD show with Mike tonight. I'm filling in for JD. And I'm going to clip the TNA portion off and put it in the beginning of my upcoming Impact review. So we're going to talk a lot of freaking TNA. Uh, I'm going to do my best to give you guys some concrete information. I'm going to try to kill some rumors. And you got to understand, I have to speak in generalizations. I can't give the exact quotes and all that because I have to be very careful when it comes to that, but I'm also going to try not to pussyfoot around it like the Sean Ross Saps and the and the Meltzers. We're nothing against them personally, but when they're in that level of wrestling journalism and they have to stay face with this person and they have to make sure that they're cool with this person and and like I I have my contacts, my friends, and that's all I care about. Not the not the others that I'm talking about. I don't need I don't need their approval. So I'm going to try to be real. I'm going to try to be raw, the best that I possibly can. And hopefully I'm going to be able to touch on some topics that are of interest to you guys. Um, and, and again, I, I asked as much as I possibly could in the last couple of days. I spent hours on this stuff. So um, it's going to be a real interesting impact review coming up after I finish doing the Mike and JD show. If there are some topics that I, you know, I did ask about, but we never really got to, I will factor them into my impact review because a couple of them are creative. A couple are from the creative, but um, a lot of it is is behind the scenes, personnel. And I will say this, my perception of things has changed greatly with the information that I received. Anthem is not in the dirt sheets. Anthem is not talking to the melters and all that. There's other people talking to them. But but the Anthems, like there's more than one anthem and, and the people involved, people to work that, you know, people at the top in TNA are not, uh, you know, talking to these guys and reaching out. So fortunately I'm in a position 
where I think I have some more concrete information that I can I can put out to you guys. So keep an eye out for my impact review coming very soon because again, it's going to kick off with um, Mike and or Mike and JD show clip. It's just going to be um, myself and Mike chopping it up, uh, really going into detail about some of these things that I've I've heard, some of these things that I've learned, some of the stuff that um, I've asked, but there's no answer to. Because you know there there are things that float around in the dirt sheets. Oh, they're they're doing this and this, and it's not true. Uh, you know, case in point, when when the dirt sheet said, well, there's you know there's NXT talent that's going to be showing up on TNA soon. You know, like I was told that's not true. I mean, I was also told that could change, but at the time, like that was fabricated information. That wasn't that wasn't accurate at the time it came out to the people. So I'm going to do my best to give. Uh, the most accurate information I can possible. And I, I think you guys will enjoy it, you know, so definitely check out the next impact review and I will see you there.